Tom, parts of Oklahoma and Texas, they are at risk. What's the latest you're hearing? Wolf, we haven't seen a day unfold like this uh, for the entire year or even the spring season. Let me set the stage. The Storm Prediction Center, which typically gives us a bullseye, a bullseye of activity for the severity, has gone to the highest level today. We went to a level five out of a possible five. We didn't have one last year. We didn't have one the year before. We talk about marginal, slight, enhanced, you know, the hail, the damaging winds and tornado. But when you get a level five, which you might have one per year, we, like I mentioned, we haven't had it the last two years. That means violent, large, and long track tornadoes are possible. Like the one six years ago today, the F, EF5 that moved into, uh, 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 I'm sorry, just south of um, Oklahoma City in Moore. It took 24 lives, uh, 212 injuries, and this is an outlook where we may see the greatest activity. This takes us at uh, oh, 10 o'clock at night. That's when it gets a little frightening, when you lose the light and you're in the darkness. And then again, besides the opportunity of tornadoes, we've already seen damage from hail from Lubbock, Texas, outside of Joplin in Crawford County, that's in Kansas. We've had damage reports. Oh, over seven tornadoes now being reported throughout the afternoon, but we're looking at the possibility of more to develop. The enhancement of rainfall is a big concern. They are completely saturated. We could see in Oklahoma City a water rescues that occur by tomorrow morning if they pick up five, six inches of rainfall. Notice in red the tornado watches from areas of Lubbock and Midland, Texas, over toward Joplin and Springfield, Missouri. These are not just tornado watches that extend through the evening. These are what we call particularly dangerous situations, a PDS. These, uh, th th those times that they are, are issued, this is only the second time, enhance the warnings. So not only are all the elements coming together for severe weather, but all the elements, Wolf, are enhanced and elevated, makes this a day we haven't seen the spring season. We were below average with tornadoes, and now we're above. We've had 660 of them so far this year, but we haven't had a day setting up with the ingredients needed. Stillwater, north of there, two tornado warnings. Near Joplin, this is the second tornado warning that they've had so far today. The streaming of rainfall, a big concern, baseball size hail has already been reported but overnight wolf we're going to see more of these tornadoes if there's any good news here that i can find we've had cloud cover and that's going to keep them at bay hopefully if they get a couple breaks in that cloud cover they're going to erupt in the next few hours very dangerous situation tom sater will yes. stay in close touch